Not only was the church the religious centre, but it was also the social point of the village. And it could have been used for a whole host of secular use, as well as worship. It was effectively the village hall of its day. It was open and spacious, especially compared to the other buildings, and had very little in the way of furniture. Pews and seating didn't arrive until the 14th and 15th century, when sermons were a larger part of the service, and people naturally wanted to sit down. Always keen to find an income, the powers that be realised that these seats could be paid for. So, the more money you had, the closer to the front you got. Well, here's a sort of classic example, if you like, of a church that now is no longer in use and has been abandoned. This is a charming location in the woods near Fittleworth in West Sussex. And a tiny little church like this would have been visited by uh, a local priest and the headmaster of the Fittleworth School came along to assist as a lay reader. And it was really essentially set up for the charcoal burners and the farmers in the area, just small local rural people. See, this is a really interesting find. You, you might be out for a walk and suddenly you come across it. We're in the middle of a forest, in the middle of nowhere. But look, you've got the windows, you've got the ironwork around the side. You wonder, when it was a school, whether there were coloured glass depicting scenes from the Bible, teaching the children, of course, in the old traditional way, through pictorial images of the story of Jesus. Mm -hmm. 